Hey everybody, welcome in, and this is gonna be the new, well, one little way I'm gonna be doing things. So, let me know if you guys like this setup, and we're gonna go jump into it. <sighs> now, look at that. Look at that. We have got the first of the Sorcerer's Trials, the Stone Events that will be kicking off. Now, there's a few things I would like to point out about this. Ferocious face-off, and it looks awesome, by the way, whoever is on the art team, top-notch job. Now, with that, we can see that there are the red stones, which is damage, using for damage, the green stones, which are healing, recovery, and the purple stones, which is crit power. Now, one thing that we will see if we when we click into this, there was a wild pick for, for sale. If we go over into the info tab, then we are going to see required. Must have three, three star gear tier four wild characters. Okay, next step up, must have four, level, uh, star level four, gear tier five. So you only need to have them around about, what, level 35, 36 to get to gear tier five. So that's doable, and it's doable for lower people with lower levels. And in honesty, with, with Christoph, and the with Christoph and the Wilds characters all added in, that will probably be the easiest way to go about this event for a lot of people. That is gonna be in so if we just search down here by Wilds. We have at the bottom here Christoph, Sven and Elsa, for anyone who went all in, whoever, who, anyone who went all in will already have three characters pretty much ready. They'll be able to do up to the three star. Now, for the fourth, if anyone has got sh um, Mordu unlocked, that'll be a fourth. They'll be able to do the four star, well, as long as they got, got them to four star. And... If anyone has also got Simba or Rafiki from doing the event, that will be options. Now, that, that is probably the only saving grace for this Wilds uh, Sorcerer Tournament. Because with this, if... If it wasn't for the the Frozen event, then probably a lot of people would not have the wilds needed. There are still going to be a lot of people out there who didn't get to farm up enough for the wilds. And this right here is perfect incentive of to why you probably need to start farming up some of these wild characters. Is that A for their events? So Lion King, Lion King, Rafiki, and, and Simba. Just work on them, do what you can. Frozen event. Free to farm, do as much as you can, get them leveled up. Not only for Frozen, but now for this as well. And then there's also for tower modes whenever you need wilds. So even more reasons now to have these. Now, as this goes up, you then need five five level five plus. Um, plus gear tier 5 and then going up to uh, star level 6 gear tier 6 and then star level 7 gear tier 7 and the limits there are put in place to make sure that people don't just rush through the game finish everything and then they feel like they've got no more content the limits are in there to, to make sure that there's always something to work towards and then feel like you're being rewarded when you get there now as for the rewards for the 
for having the three star, three three stars, you get a, a, a little bit of rewards, possible rewards. Now, if you can, I'm guessing, depending on how many attempts at this you get per day, it doesn't show us yet, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe three. I don't know. Those are the the typical events we've had so far is that many attempts. But I'm not sure. It might just be a once through. The last time the Sorcerer's Tournaments were here, it was a one time through. So you can do each level once each time it came around. Then when you get up to the four four stars, then you have your starting to get some of these some of these uh, starlight different coloured um, different coloured shards shards. That's that's the word I was looking for. And then when you get up to the five star, then you want to start getting more shards and more of the more of the bigger next tier up shards. Now you also see the possible rewards that the amounts on the sorcerer coins for the stones. 150 to 80, and that's not much. You're gonna need you need 1,000 to get one chipped coin from the exchange. So even if you do the first two levels, you're still going to be short. You have to wait for the next time in. Now, when you get to the five star, that is when you, when you hit all of these, then you'll be pretty much guaranteed uh, one of the stones. You'll be able to buy them from the exchange. And then when you get to six star, you'll be able to get you'll be able to get your second stone, and then pretty much. When you get to seven star, which is a far long way off everyone, then you'll be able to get, I think, what, four stones throughout all of this. So one, two, three, about four. So four stones per event, plus all the shards and mats needed. So the starlights as well as the faint starlights. And those are the ones that are needed for leveling up. Now, with this... They are going to be offering wild pack, so it's most likely going to be a gem pack like we have seen the other types of event gem packs. Now, in the exchange, this is going to be the most relevant. This is where you're going to spend these coins. All of these shards here, all of these chipped amber, chipped uh, sapphire, chipped ruby, they are all going to be 1,000 for 1, 2,000 for 2. That, that's kind of harsh for anyone who's got only the 3 and 4 star, because that pretty much means they can't get to the 1,000 needed if it is only a one time through. If it is repeatable per day, then that's going to be different. Like, say, if it's like Scrooge's money bin, and then you can do have a couple of shots at it a day, then that'll be all right, because at least you'll have a shot at getting uh, one of these chip stones. If it's a one-time through, then you're not going to get a stone until next time. That's that's the reality of it. And that's uh, a bit of a... It's going to feel bad for a lot of people who have who have been waiting for these to come so at least everyone is going to know what to work for now but but it's it's a little bit of a shock so for anyone who is not quite ready for these wild face-off sorcerer tournament i can't wait to see what they're they're going to be and what limits they are it doesn't say that there are any it says defeat Mordu so it's just defeat Mordu um, he'll recover more oh, so this is oh, they have taken the old Mordu event and turned it into a turned it into a sorcerer's trials hmm. okay I see what they've done there I see what they've done here okay that that makes a little bit more sense now so this this is also going to be a very easy event. If you get the wild characters, pretty much all you need to do is take out Mordu, and then it's uh, done. So at least there's that little bit of hope that you have to look look forward to. But we'll be covering this when the event goes live, and I'll get into talking about get into talking about what the stones 
uh, that you're going to want, so which one's going to be good. I have done a video previously for anyone who might be watching this and be like, oh, the stones, the stones are here. I have done a little quick what you need to know about stones uh, video, so if you want to check that out, then check back my previous videos. I'll put a link to the description, uh, and link in the description of what it is. But if we go here and you choose any character, press the little stone, missing stone button in the middle, and say, okay, I need one of these stones. If I had equipped a yellow stone on her, she's going to go from 115 to 120 speed. And then, if I want to then craft the next one, I'm going to need 100 of those, uh, 100 of those coloured shards. So the starlight shards. So that is looking like we're 100 and 200. So if we actually just check on the amounts that they're giving then we will see we'll have a little bit of a better idea of how much they're actually giving us 10 to 12 so i hope i kind of hope this is multiple attempts per day if it is only one attempt per day if you need 100 you're not going to have enough for a lot of events. You're going to actually have to progress right up until, uh, right up until five, six star. Six star. If you get lucky with drops, you'll have ten, forty, ooh, maybe just on a hundred. If not, it's going to be pretty much you need two events. But in saying that, you're not going to have the, you're not going to have all the stones for it anyway. So it's going to stack up. Well, you all have some stones, actually, from the currency. You'll have two stones. Hmm. Tricky situation. Tricky situation uh, everyone's going to be in. So it'll be interesting, once this goes live, to actually see how this turns out now. There is one more big thing that has happened with this. Is that triple chipped stones. They, they didn't. People were saying... Oh, just wait for them to, wait for them to come and drop a money pack for stones. And I was like, the stones that were never available in money packs previously. I don't think they will. I think they'll make it um, to the trials exclusive. To all of you who just said that, you proved me wrong. You proved me wrong. Uh, that's all there is to it. I was mistaken. I I thought they wouldn't have done that. They have done that. So that's going to be what the equivalent of a $20, $20 pack, I believe. $20 US. And you're going to get the stones in it. You're going to get two, 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 two. And then a little bit of the materials. And plus 500 coins to potentially go and buy some more. So, 100%, 100%, 100%. So, that is just straight giving you enough for a few characters. And there's only one available. So, it's pretty much going to be... What they're trying to encourage here is for you to buy this, play the event, get one stone, and then you'll be able to uh, join up one stone together. Now, spoiler alert, I will cover this in another video to come. But, when I get to the right tabs, we are going to see. Even though the red stones, the green stones, and the purple stones are here in this event, and they're here for sale, you're probably going to want to spend your coins on the yellow stones. Because they haven't fixed the yellow stones, yellow stones are still the most broken. As you saw, they give you, they'll give you 5% speed. Would you rather have 5% attack or 5% speed? The recovery stones, other than Dr. Facilia, meh, not that great. Uh, crit, crit damage stones, just don't even think about it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll go over all the stones in a separate video, but I just wanted to make sure I touched on it so people will know and understand. But don't be surprised also if these uh, speed stones get nerfed in the future. But we'll have to wait and see then. Let me know in the comments below and we'll see.